Hey everyone, and welcome back to this week's edition of the Vice Squad, brought to you by the Andromus Fly Company and Fly Life Company. If you like what you see today, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also the little reminder bell, that way you don't miss any of our future content. Between me, Ryan, and Adam, we've been putting out a lot lately. Don't want you to miss any of it. Also, um, after you're finished, if you uh, are looking for outdoor gear, Make sure to check out our store at fishingandoutdoors.ca or fishingandoutdoors.net for U.S. international shoppers. Lots of uh, different outdoor gear from fishing to hiking to even skateboarding, I believe. So, Kind of some crazy stuff. Make sure you check it out. Today in the vise, we are going to tie a uh, pheasant tail variant, a little soft tackle. Um, most of the time when you see a soft tackle pheasant tail, you're thinking more uh, mayfly emerger which this one could be in a large mayfly situation, but being a size 12 hook here, I'm thinking this would be more of a fry imita small fry imitation. This might work well during the winter as a, as a dead drift on an infrig. So first of all, we're gonna start a thread. Oh yeah, we're adding no lead to this, no weight at all. Um, being on a, being on a uh, nymph rig, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it unweighted and let the weight of the other flies do the work. I like piggyback approach. Or pheasant back approach. So piggyback, how's that? So we're gonna take six pheasant tail fibers as the tail. Cut them off and align, make sure the tips are aligned. They are. So we want this to be about the length of the hook shank. Pinch it, bring it up. bring it along the hook shank here right about to where we started our thread we don't want to go farther yet because that's going to be actually we're going to go a little bit farther we don't want to go too much farther because we don't want to affect our thorax and soft tackle so then we're going to tie in our wire on our way back We do all of this very meticulously. If you watch, my wraps are always touching and never overlapping. And we're adding materials in the most uh, efficient way we can. We want to keep the body slender and smooth. We are going to tie in from the tips here because they're going to have the least effect on our uh, taper. Bring it in, bring it back a little bit for the taper again. Make sure there's a covered up well, and this time I'm gonna put a half hitch in it and uh, then bring my wire. I think it's easier to wrap wire with rotary function. wrap nice even wraps and this will protect our pheasant tail fibers from doing what I did in the fish's mouth another thing to think about the stability that comes with counter wraps and also the effect you know good counter wraps look really nice Add a segmentation to the fly. And now we're just going to tie it off. Make sure that wire isn't getting off on us. 
take your fingernail and push that back. There we go. So now we're going to tie in a piece of flash material that we're going to use as a wing case in the end of the fly. But at this point in the fly is when we're going to need it. Tie it in. And now we're going to take some UV, no, we want just regular olive ice dub from Hairline. We're going to dub sparsely on the thread and build this hot spot. I'm sure you guys saw in the start of the, when you guys first found the video, the first thing that pops on this fly. So we're going to bring it back the body. It's more. And then we're going to bring it back. Don't let it slide on you. Over the body. And we're just going to trim all the crazy fibers here. Keep it clean, keep it centralized, use curved tip scissors rather than the straight tip, I prefer for this, catch them better, make sure that, that is pulled back. If it's curling over like this, take your fingernail and cause a turn in the other direction. That way I can double check the color too. It is a light tan done actually. Silver Herbert Liner in cape. And light tan um, done. I'm just gonna get a feather out here real quick. I had one ahead of time, but messed it up. So try it again. Anyways, back to where we were. Yeah. So just like we did last week with the other soft tackle that we used for the front of that jig streamer. Only this one's not Bruma hen, this is American hen? I'm not actually sure about that. It's not labeled as American hen, but I think they still use American hen for Herbert Miner. I'm not for sure though. Anyways, oh, sorry. We're gonna strip one side of this as well because I don't want it to be as thick as it would come out otherwise. Careful not to do what I did in the first place and mess up the feather. So now we're going to tie in from that point. Trim off this, and then we're going to grab our hackle pliers, wrap this feather while keying, oop, keying these, feather, these fibers back. Continue printing it back. And catch it. Excess stem off. Okay. 
Okay. Close trim with the stem. And now I'm gonna preen these fibers down from the tackle. Got some ice stuff and it's going crazy honestly underneath. Let me just get that real quick. Alright, now we're gonna bring this flash material over as a wing case, as we said we would. Catch it with our thread. And then cut it off. Every now and then when you tie a soft tackle at the end of a fly, you'll get these uh, fibers that come out over top of the eye. It's not an uncommon thing to happen. These scissors though, makes it a pretty easy deal to get them out of there. So there you go, trick of the day. Once again, just kind of preen those fibers back, leave them where you want them. And then we're going to build a head here, wet fly head. Half hitch off. Make sure your half hitches are working with your head that you shaped already. You don't want to mess up all that work just because you weren't paying attention to your half hitches. Turn it off nice and close to the bot to the head. Coming off on us. Lost the last one. It's okay. Pull it tight. Trim it off. There we go. Now, one more step. You're gonna take some golf thin men. And we're gonna highlight this wing case. And also lace them on the head to finish it off. So what we're gonna do is just gonna pull down the hackle fibers. You don't wanna get it on the fibers. UV glue is notoriously bad for hackle fibers. Just gonna layer a little bit onto the wing case there. Hit it with the light. And then we're also gonna lay a little bit on the head here. Particularly the top. A little bit underneath. Top I want it to be a little bit higher than the bottom. You can also make it match with the wing case. And then hit that with the UV glue as well. The final little step. I'm going to spin this around, make sure I don't have any fibers that aren't listening to me. I have this one right here causing me issues. I take him right out. This one too. And I think that's it. So there you have a little little fry wet fly a pheasant tail soft tackle pheasant tail variant so thank you for watching today's video if you liked it please hit that like button the subscribe button and as well as that little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future content as always please check out our online store at fishingoutdoors.net or sorry ca or net for us and international shoppers I really hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you guys have a great Sunday. See you next week.